welcome to another episode of Master Carb. And in this episode, I'm going to start off by showing you exactly what I do to prepare particles. How I wash them, how I soak them, and eventually how they are cooked. And after the cooking process, we're going to basically simulate a situation where I'm at the water and I'm ready to mix the particles together, add the salt and ready for, for the feeding process. So let's get started. My way of demonstrating this and in preparing this is I've got two buckets. One solid and the other one I drilled holes in. And this is basically my, my rinsing bucket. So I start off by taking my maize and adding, adding it in. Now you will notice that there's lots of dust and look at the look at the debris on my hands. Now all of these items can cause what we call bacterial infection. So we need to wash it off first to get the, 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 the rubbish off and to leave very, very clean particles. So I proceed by adding water like that. And now I wash the particles. Right, now after the first rinsing process, you'll notice that the water is quite murky and there's lots of debris floating around. Now, I'm going to now lift up this bucket and drain all the murky water off. And I'm going to repeat this process at least two or three times before I'm satisfied to soak these particles. Right, after the third rinsing process, you can now see that the water is clear. There's almost no debris floating on the surface and I'm ready to soak these particles. The next batch of particles I'm going to prepare is the tiger nuts. And at this point, I want to thank Llewellyn and his team from Essential Angling for the kind sponsorship for these particles. And hopefully, after lockdown, we can actually catch a couple of fish with it. So again, I empty them in the bucket. And you can see from the debris on my hand, it also needs a bit of cleaning. So I'm going to add some water like that. And again, I'm going to just wash them through, make sure that I get them nice and clean. And after the third rinsing process, they're ready to be soaked. Right, and there we have it. These tiger nuts are ready to be soaked in clear, clean water. And it's going to stay overnight like this in a sealed bucket. And tomorrow afternoon, I'll be back to cook these. So let's do the next ones. The next batch of particles is the hemp and I do exactly the same with the hemp. I also wash it off and I also drain it to make sure that they are clean and ready to be soaked. Now I'm just transferring the cleaned hemp into a bucket with a lid that I can soak it overnight. Um, I do not add anything to my hemp. I do not add, add anything to the tiger nuts and also not to the maize. There are obviously many, many ways that you can prepare particles. I prepare them the natural way and I add the salt afterwards. But you can, with the tiger nuts, you can add a little bit of flavor if you like. I know that these guys on the on, with the maize that add some spices and stuff to them in the soaking process and paprika, etc. You can do that, but I prefer them 
as clean and as natural as possible because that's how nature gives it to the fish. And there you have it. I've soaked the maize, the tiger nuts and the hemp separately. I always do that and I always cook them separately because I want every single particle to retain its natural uh, character. And if you cook them together, each and every one of these have got a different cooking time. So if you cook them together, something is going to either be overcooked and some will be undercooked. So by doing them separately, I make sure that I retain all the natural goodness of each and every single one. And when I add them together afterwards, they give the most unbelievable character. Welcome back everyone. Well, 24 hours have passed and I'm ready to transfer the hemp seed into the normal pot and the tiger nuts into the pressure cooker. And I'll see you in about half an hour's time. Right, and we are half an hour in, and the pressure cooker is sizzling quite nicely. Let's have a look what our hemp seed is doing. And you'll notice that some of the seeds are starting to split open. I think we'll let this simmer for another 10 or 12 minutes, and then we can remove it from the heat. And there we have perfectly cooked feeding tiger nuts. Right, these tiger nuts are ready to be transferred back into the bucket and I'm going to leave it open until they've cooled off significantly so I can handle them. Absolutely perfect. And there we have it. The last particles to be cooked is our maize. And you can see that they've swelled out quite nicely, ready to be cooked. Right, our maize is done. And they're starting to split up quite nicely. You can see some of them are completely split open really really nice they're nice and soft there you can see how the maize should look like once it's split open there we go now these particles just needs to cool down and once they cool down i'll show you my twist to this whole thing now that the particles are sufficiently cooled down for me to handle them, I need to also stress to you that I always keep my particles separate until the time that I'm ready to go and pre-bait them. So they will remain like this until I put them into the bucket, add the salt and then go out on the boat or spawn them out or whatever the case might be. Now I've got less than five liters of each of the particles and this is more than sufficient for me for a whole weekend session on some of the uh, lakes around johannesburg we'll even use less than this for a weekend session so let's do that quickly here's my there's the maize there's my tiger nuts and my hemp and I will just work them through like this and then comes my secret I've got probably 10 kilograms of prepared particles so I'm going to add one packet of this coarse salt 
and it sounds a lot but believe me it really isn't right now I just work them through and there you have it particles ready to go out Thank you.